Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with test plan template as per IEEE 829-1983 standard. First, you'll see what is a test plan. Test plan is a byproduct of detailed test planning process. It is a document that covers test planning. So basically, a document describing scope, approach, resources, and schedule of intended test activities is what a test plan is. It identifies, among others, test items, features to be tested, the testing task, who will do the task, the degree of tester independence, test environment, test design technique, the entry and exit criteria and the rationale for the choice and any task requiring contingency planning. So basically test plan is a record of test planning process. The objectives of test plan are to identify the items that are subject to testing, to communicate at higher level the extent of testing, to define the roles and responsibility for test activity to provide an accurate effort estimation required to complete testing as per the plan to define the infrastructure and support required now what I have here in Excel application is sample test plan where I'm testing Firefox browser 25 and here are some of the criteria and the fields that you are going to include in the test plan. This is just a short intro, but when you are going to implement your own test plan, then you have to extend these fields. First, you need a unique identifier to identify your internal company product name and test plan name. You can have that as identifier before the name of product. For example, it could be test plan 123, then name of the product, then who, who is preparing this document, then date. After that, you will have to format your document like introduction where you are going to explain what we are going to test, what we are going to do or what we are going to achieve by doing the testing then objective and task we are going to identify the major objective of our test plan then we are going to divide it into number of tasks then we are going to see the scope of our testing after that there is testing strategy for example unit testing which is also called as alpha testing then system and integration testing performance and integration testing user acceptance testing batch testing automated regression testing beta testing after that hardware requirements where we are going to write about the number of components that we require to test a particular activity then environment requirement for example mainframe work station or any other software environment that is needed for the test then test schedule number of hours and the deadline then control procedure control procedure and features to be tested and not tested are going to decide our exit criteria then resources where we are going to assign the roles to testers test leaders and their responsibilities to carry out this test plan then schedule for each of these roles then significantly impacted department to measure our performance 
of test then dependencies to that risks and assumptions we have to identify the high risk assumptions of test plan then contingency criteria for this plan as well after that we are going to check the tools that we need to carry out the test and then approvals we are going to specify the name and title of all the people involved in the testing and who are going to approve the test plan provide the space for signature and date so basically this template will be extended in either excel document or word document where each of this field will be part of our test plan explaining the specific criteria or objective for the test plan and then at the end it is dependent on project manager and test leader to pass this test plan to the testers this is the standard IEEE 829-1983 document uh, which we can summarize in short like this is document that describes scope approach resources and schedule of intended testing activities it identifies test items the features to be tested testing task who will do each task and any risk requiring contingency planning now we know how the test plan is carried out here in the video description I'm going to give you the link to download this template so you can modify and use this in Word or Excel for your own use and I hope you find this tutorial useful for your test plan activity thank you